When is it better to get an unsecured versus secured credit card? The choice between an unsecured and secured credit card depends on your current credit situation and what you're looking to achieve with your credit. Secured credit cards 1. Building credit. If you have poor or no credit history, a secured credit card is often a better starting point. Because they require a deposit, which becomes your credit limit, you are essentially mitigating the risk for the card issuer, making it easier to get approved. 2. Controlled spending. Since your spending limit is tied to your deposit, it's a good way to practice responsible credit usage without the risk of falling deep into debt. 3. Credit repair. For those looking to rebuild their credit score, a secured card can provide the basis for showing consistent payment behavior. After a period of responsible use, many issuers allow you to transition to an unsecured card. Unsecured credit cards 1. Established credit history. If you already have a good credit score, going for an unsecured credit card makes more sense. You'll likely get better terms, such as a higher credit limit, lower interest rates, and rewards programs. 2. Rewards and benefits. Unsecured cards often come with perks like cashback, travel rewards, and promotional interest rates, which can be lucrative if used correctly. This includes things like sign-up bonuses, access to airport lounges, and purchase protection. 3. No upfront deposit. Unlike secured cards, unsecured cards don't require an upfront deposit, which can be a big financial advantage. This also means your money won't be tied up as a security deposit. Deciding factors. Credit history. Check your credit score. If it's below average, opt for a secured card to improve your standing. If it's good to excellent, unsecured is the way to go. Financial goals. Determine what you want out of your credit card. Are you aiming to build or rebuild credit, or are you looking for perks and rewards? Financial situation. If you don't have cash to tie up in a security deposit, you might lean towards trying to get an unsecured card, but be realistic about approval odds if your credit isn't stellar. Remember, both card types can be beneficial in different circumstances. Choose what aligns best with your financial health and goals. For more insights on building and maintaining good credit, check out NerdWallet, https for detailed comparisons and advice.